Meet Apple's thinnest iPhone ever, the iPhone Air. Here's the crazy thing though, thinner can actually be more repairable because we don't have to dig through multiple layers for basic repairs. When first announced, we were worried that the iPhone Air might give up the repair-friendly dual-entry design. It's annoying to have to fuss with an expensive OLED when you're just trying to change a battery. But it looks like I can get in through the back, so hopefully the battery's right here. And sure enough, with the back glass off, I can see that big shiny can battery. Removing the single bracket on the right lets me disconnect the wireless charging assembly flex cable and remove the back glass entirely. After that, I can move on to another securing bracket, or cowl as Apple calls it, that's hiding the battery press connector. With the battery disconnected, it's time to take a second look at the iPhone Air battery. That's right, we saw this same battery in the official Apple MagSafe battery pack just a couple of days ago. You can find that teardown video on our YouTube channel. It's nice to see that the battery is accessible from a very early stage, and it's even nicer to see the electrically debonding adhesive return for a third generation of iPhones. There's there's been a slight change this time around though, there are now two adhesive strips here which need to be addressed separately. Using my FixHub portable power station and bolt clip, I'm going to connect the black lead to the grounding screw on the bottom left of the iPhone and the red lead to each of the tabs in turn. After roughly 70 seconds for each tab, the battery is fully released and pops right out. And sure enough, from the model number to the regulatory markings to the 12.26 watt hour capacity, this is the exact same battery we saw in the iPhone Air MagSafe battery pack. We even confirmed you can swap the MagSafe battery into an Air, and it'll boot up and run just fine. Pretty neat. Head on over to our channel to see the whole teardown.